Hello and welcome to TV30, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Jordan Bisset Joseph. The Fosse Jacques Development Committee recently received grants from a consortium of donors, including GEF, SGP, UNDP, and OECS, to establish the first agro-tourism park, protective landscape in St. Lucia. The project will be launched on Thursday, the 27th of October, 2022, and here to discuss the project and all that it encompasses are uh, three members of the committee in the guise of um, Chairperson, Ms. Sandra Prosper, um, Vice Chairperson, Lensin, sorry, Lencia Mathre, and the trustee, Mr. Columbus Philippi. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you, for, Thank having you for having us. us. Okay, now before we start actually talking about the park, which is what we're really here to talk about, uh -huh. um, give me some details about the, the Four Stage Jack Development Committee. Like, give me a little bit of background information. When was it established and why was it established? Okay, okay I'll do that. The Four Stage Development Committee came around in 1994 after, in trying to get things back after um, Hurricane Debbie. Okay. However, in 1995, it was reconstituted, aided by the development, the community development officer at that time, to form the Fossejac Development Committee, a legal body. Mm -hmm. okay. It was formed in order to help the community in its um, economical, social, cultural development. The community was a poverty-stricken community. Mm -hmm. Well, still is, sort of. Okay. And the first thing that the development committee wanted to do was to establish a credit union there to help people be able to access loan. Because of the, um, the financial depri deprivation of the community, mm -hmm. there was trouble in accessing loan from the commercial banks. Okay. So the com committee felt if we have our own development committee, our own um, mm -hmm. credit union, mm -hmm. then people will be able to access small loans there. Okay. Hence the Fosagia Credit Union, which now holds two branches, one in Soufre and one in Fosija. And we have over, how many million dollars? Over 20 million. Over 20 million dollars and Massive. over 3,000 yeah. members. Brilliant. That's okay. Brilliant. okay. Um, the committee is made up of persons from different sub-communities. In Fosajak, we have eight sub-communities. Okay. And every sub-community sub is represented by two persons on the committee. Um, groups in Fosajak are also represented on the committee. Mm -hmm. Right now, the committee is made up of 29 members. And it also has an executive. Okay, all right, brilliant. Now, you mm -hmm. mentioned the, the, the credit union there, but there's other things that I believe that the committee has actually put together. Give us a rundown on some mm -hmm. of the other projects you've been involved in. Okay, many other product, projects, for example, um, the establishment of the daycare center in Fosajac. Okay. We did that in collaboration with the Catholic Church and the government of St. Lucia, mm -hmm. where we asked the government of St. Lucia to pay our staff, mm -hmm. and they gladly did, and they have been paying the staff since the inception okay. of the daycare center. Mm -hmm. We've had um, the resource center, and we did that in collaboration with um, the government of St. Lucia, Pinnacle Trust, mm -hmm. and that came after Hurricane um, Thomas. Okay. Okay. Um, the agro-processing center, also in collaboration with the Catholic Church, who leased the building to us. Mm -hmm. And we had Carly coming up, up on um, doing the renovation along with GIZ, okay. the German group. Oh, okay. Okay. We've mm -hmm. built foundations for houses, for community persons, um, and the houses were built by the Good News people. Mm -hmm. um, we've gone to schools, um, help with um, tablets for the students mm -hmm. when COVID came around. Mm -hmm. We've been able to give um, care, bundle, care bundles to every household in Fosijac. Mm -hmm. That was in 2020. Okay. Um, it it, it um, encompasses food and hygiene packs. Yeah. Uh, we were able to, every year we've been having um, a summer camp for our youth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so every Absolutely. year we do that, except mm -hmm. for last year. Okay. Okay. Um, what else have we done? <laughs> We've done pageantry in Fonsejac every year. Mm -hmm. um, we have our Queen Show, mm -hmm. 
yeah. which most people have said can be um, held as high as that of the national queen show. Fantastic. We just didn't have it wow. last year too. Okay. Um, our last one was in 19, 2019 because of COVID. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've been able to give um, scholarship, not scholarship, but bursary mm -hmm. to some of our top um, students in Fosse Jacques. And the list goes on. Wow, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work on a lot of successful projects. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now, I mean, straight from there, we're moving on to the agro-tourism yeah, park. Right, so, yes. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a major project. One, yeah, yes. the biggest one so far. So now tell me, what was the concept behind this? How did this come to mind? Where did this idea come from? Okay, so um, as Mrs. Prosper mentioned earlier on, following Tropical Storm Debbie, mm -hmm. we find that a lot of persons were migrating from the community because of loss of jobs, loss of livelihoods, mm -hmm. and we wanted to find a mean, a way to have the persons in the community employed. We wanted to create um, livelihoods for those persons. Mm -hmm. So we had several consultations with persons in the community as to what we can do to assist them. And one of these consultations we had with the farmers where the idea come along, why not have an agritourism park? Mm -hmm. Because this is what we're known for, our farmers and yeah. tourism. Yeah. So we have decided to marry the two together and to create an agritourism park. Um, this park will incorporate the whole community of Fosse Jacques. So it will start from the bottom, which is Ravin Clay. Mm -hmm. It will go all up to Baden and the Rainforest Park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is where our idea came from, basically. Okay. So we're still at the planning stages. <coughs> we have come a long way. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to launch this project this coming Thursday. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Now, the project will affect the community on so many levels. Um, take us through how you hope, um, what you think the benefits would be to the community and what you hope to see come from the, the project. Okay. Uh, this project um, is geared and tailored to really um, provide livelihoods in a sustainable way okay. to residents and even um, persons from the outside mm -hmm. because it's not exclusive to for the Jacques persons, people. But what we um, envisage is that majority of the participants and the beneficiaries will be persons from the community. Mm -hmm. um, straight from the bat, um, we, after that project has been launched and is implemented, we are looking forward that persons use the opportunity to um, create meaningful and sustainable livelihoods from, 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 from these activities. Mm -hmm. Because we will be put, um, positioning ourselves to invite um, visitors, both local and foreigners, mm -hmm. to come into Fonson Jacques and immerse yourself into what's happening to, into the community, mm -hmm. um, take part in what, whatever activities in the community. And then it will be very heart heartening if persons from the community themselves cannot be a beneficiary, direct beneficiary mm -hmm. from it. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are tag tailoring this in, in a way that the impact will be local okay. into the community. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Um, so one of the, the pieces of literature that I was sent in regards to um, us doing the interview here mm -hmm. today, um, it said on it that the, it's hoped that the, the park would um, be an integrated management area which brings together the aesthetic value of the area with the natural, cultural and social assets to establish sustainable economic activities which can include camping, hiking and sustainable agriculture and agro-processing combined with culinary and gastronomic experiences. So what are the different kinds of businesses are you hoping to achieve or already see pop up from this, within this park? What, what kind of businesses? Okay, so Fosse Jacques is known for its rich lands. Right. So we have a lot of farmers in this community. Right. So we have been pleading with the farmers um, to, we have been trying to educate them mm -hmm. in um, farming practices mm -hmm. that is going to help our soil mm -hmm. because a lot of them we realize that they do their farming on slopes mm -hmm. so we have been finding ways and means to assist them in using less chemicals with their farming we're trying to help them do more organic farming mm -hmm. and we're also trying to assist them in adding value to their products okay. so the dashing we're trying to find ways 
to add value to the dashin, mm. be it um, dashing flour, dashing chips, and we also have our agro processors mm. who will assist in that process. Mm -hmm. So when they go to the market and they have some leftover products, we're asking them to bring those products to our agro processors who are now going to use these products to create other products. Okay. Yes. Oh, that sounds brilliant. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the watershed. Okay. Fossil shark is at the top of the watershed and mm -hmm. we realize that when they use their chemicals. Mm -hmm. Some of these chemicals seep down into the water below. Okay. So this has caused a problem for us. So through our community consultations, we're trying to educate them mm -hmm. into growing, into going into organic farming. Okay. All right. Brilliant. So then we will see an improvement in our water quality. Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. That sounds very good. That sounds very good. Now, in 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 saying that, um, what? Have, have you actually brought that idea out to the community and talked to, I know you said you talked to farmers, yes. but other people besides them, what has the feedback been through members of the community in regards to the, 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 the launch of okay. the park? We, we have been running, um, um, preceding the launching, mm -hmm. um, we have been um, going into the various sub-communities right. and having community meetings, mm -hmm. so to sensitize the the locals and the, and the community right. on the, what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, we find it's imperative that the persons on the ground, the, the, the ordinary persons, yeah. should know about what's happening yeah. in the community mm -hmm. instead of being a bystander and w outside watching in. Mm -hmm. So we're sensitizing them, we're educating them mm -hmm. on what's happening so that they would be informed. Mm -hmm. Because this project, we, as I said before, will be inviting persons into Foster Shack. Okay. And what's the best way to invite by letting the ordinary persons be the invited, mm -hmm. inv actually inviting the persons mm -hmm, instead of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we will just be the one hosting and mm -hmm. creating the ambience, creating the, the activities, but it will be those persons on the ground, those mm -hmm. persons that look, the ordinary persons right. that will be in, com, um, interacting with, with the persons that, I, that we invite to take part in whatever activities we have. Mm -hmm. So, it is a very important mission. Everybody won't jump in at the same time mm -hmm. because they are the laggers. They are those who believe. They will, they will have to wait and see. Yeah. So we, we, we understood that. And then we are creating that kind of vibe, that kind of um, um, hype mm -hmm. within the community that, mm -hmm. hey, something good is coming mm -hmm. and we want you to be on board. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, see what opportunities mm -hmm. that might pop up so that mm -hmm. you can take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. you know, this kind of uh, information that we, put, we, we see in and out there. Okay. So we, the, the, reception, the reception is good. Mm -hmm. Although we would like to see more, when we call those meetings, we'd like to see more persons coming in, but we know things sometimes take a little time for, yeah. for it to get uh, to roll out. Okay. But we are confident that, because we have done this before, yeah. so we are confident that it will. Yeah. It, it, it will exactly. it will Okay, yeah. all right, brilliant. Okay. And all the right. thing is that, you know, people also also like to see tangible things. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. For years yeah. now, we've been having meetings upon meetings from 2018. That's what I was going to ask, yeah. okay. From 2018, we've been having meetings upon meetings mm -hmm. upon meetings. And at one time, mm -hmm. I can remember in 2020, it was, and mm -hmm. somebody said, Depuis juste à zot kadi meeting na zot pa fini ex meeting sala. Ki sa zot ka bay mi. No, but they want to see, especially the farmers. Yeah. Okay, farmers would not want to leave their garden behind mm -hmm. and come to meetings all the time. Mm -hmm. They want to see what is it did for them and what they can get from it. I understand. And, yeah. and so they are asking for what are the inputs? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's one thing the farmers are asking for what are the inputs? Okay. If I go organic, can you make sure that I get a market, and that's the other thing that they're afraid of. Ah, uh, okay. Because some farmers are saying, we're planting organic, which takes a longer time and much more care yeah. and energy, mm -hmm. and the other farmers are planting the same thing with the tra in the traditional way, yet mm -hmm. still when we go by the market, we have to sell our the goods at the same price <laughs> with them. I understand. So yeah. how can you assure us mm -hmm. of a market for our goods okay. when okay. we go organic? So these are all the things that we have to try to mm -hmm. put in place for them. Mm -hmm. But some, they're getting there and they're opening up to the organic um, farming because we are telling them about the water quality in the lower watershed that is affecting people. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right. And that's one, one, one of the main reasons too for the agro-tourism park. Okay. All right.
Sounds good. But anyway, we just have to take a very short break and we'll be back. Stay with us, we'll be back in a moment. The Department of Finance has introduced the Electronic Government Procurement System, EGP. The EGP system has many benefits for stakeholders involved in government procurement. And government seeks to adopt a strategic approach to its purchasing process. Electronic Government Procurement improves efficiency of procurement and enhances data capture. The EGP is innovative and will automate the sequence from notification receiving and evaluation of submissions to final contract award. It improves communication between vendors and government agencies, provides greater transparency, and builds confidence in the vendor community through increased access to information. To participate, vendors, suppliers, and contractors must register on the electronic government procurement platform. EGP, improving efficiency and transparency in the acquisition of goods, and services. Welcome back. I am here today with the Forces Jack Development Committee, three members of the committee, and we are discussing the Agro-Tourism Park, the project, the landscape that's supposed to be um, open very short soon in, in, in Forces Jack. So let's carry on by, by discussing the people that actually support it. First of all, was it hard to get um, other agencies involved, involved when this idea came to you all? How easy was it to get other people to come on board and see, you know, the benefits of the project? Okay. I guess you're speaking about grant funders. That's um, what I mean. Yeah. People. Yeah. We had a workshop in, I think it was 2016 mm -hmm. or so. I can't remember exactly the date. With IWE Co. Okay. Where we had farmers and all, all the stakeholders in there. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we were looking at is how can we develop forces here? Okay. okay. With every stakeholder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the idea of an agro-tourism park came around. In that workshop, we had Mr. Giles Romulus, mm -hmm. the coordinator of Jeff. Right. And he gave us a challenge. He told us, if we can put a, put a plan together, he's willing to give us a planning grant. Okay. To, to, to get that going mm -hmm. and we, we took the challenge and we were able to get the planning grant from Jeff mm -hmm. and so we, we had a land use marking and to find out whether the area would have been able to have a, an agro-tourism park so mm -hmm. we um, had a consultant Elizabeth Sumer mm -hmm. who did that report for us okay so mm -hmm. it started with Jeff okay. And it is continuing with Jeff also because we, we got, after that we got a grant from them, a full grant, and now we have a strategic grant with them. Mm -hmm. We also have the OECS. There was a call for um, a proposal for community, t community tourism development mm -hmm. by the OECS and the right um, company, organization, mm -hmm. and we applied. Okay. They were given four, four of these um, grants mm -hmm. to four countries in the OECS. Okay. And we were one of those. We, we got it for St. Lucia. So we have been funded by the OECS also. Mm -hmm. We had G, um, GIZ. Okay. It's a German com um, company mm -hmm. and they're, they're in, up at the Mon. Okay. They came on board, they helped, they worked with us and they worked with some farmers, with mm -hmm. organic farmers. Mm -hmm. They came on board with us, they gave us um, capacity building. Mm -hmm. Through them we were able to start an agro-processor called Jaco Valley Products. Mm -hmm. And we also have Canary. Okay. Though their funding is small, it is still very good and we are mm -hmm. able to get something from it. Mm -hmm. We have Canary coming on board. We've had, we are now um, discussing with IEF, mm -hmm. the Internet, Inter-American Foundation. Okay, we started with them from last year in discussions and going back and forth. Okay. I think we have reached a point where we can breathe and <laughs> see we can get it. Yeah. We have Sufre Foundation okay. that has come on board too mm -hmm. and they're really very supportive. Brilliant, okay. And there were quite a few others too, mm -hmm. but sometimes you know, do and individuals also. Yeah, there are yeah, individuals also. And mm -hmm. though you may want, you say you need you need the support, you need mm -hmm. the help, mm -hmm. you need the assistance and the money. Yeah. But then sometimes you cannot mm -hmm. take 
all these things on at one time. I understand, yeah. Okay, yeah. because of the level of work, each person and each organization mm -hmm. wants to have um, their, their, their objectives and their aims pushed forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, mm -hmm. also very important this question is the contribution of Ministry of Agriculture and the Forestry mm -hmm. Department, I was okay. to that. which is very integral, integral mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. our organization and providing the space for us to operate within mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also providing very useful um, manpower in what mm -hmm. we intend to do. Okay. So mm -hmm. kudos to the Ministry mm -hmm. One of the things to something that a very big thing and we find it is very good mm -hmm. and we are looking forward we're going to have a um, memorandum of understanding with the government of St. Lucia okay. in order to have co-management of the area that we are going to use for camping sites and eco lodges mm -hmm. and trails and so on mm -hmm. okay. so we are working tightly with the forestry department and government of St. Lucia Good. So it's not a yeah. Fonce Jacques thing as such, yeah. but it's a St. Lucia thing. Okay, Very something good. national, yeah. and we are hoping that it will be international. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Now, as we were saying, the, the launch is actually going to be in a, a few days' time mm -hmm. and such like. Um, what is actually supposed to be taking place at the launch, and, and what exactly is going to happen after the launch? How, what is the way forward when you hit the ground running, so to speak? Okay. Um, at the launch, um, we're hoping that, well, according to our program, mm -hmm. we'll be having um, remarks by different government officials and mm -hmm. different organizations, all mm -hmm. those that are involved yeah. in, in the, in the agro-tourism park, mm -hmm. and those persons whom, whose ministries are going to impact greatly on the agro-tourism park. So it's, for right. example, sustainable development, mm -hmm. agriculture, physical development, tourism, mm -hmm. commerce, and mm -hmm. all that, because all these ministries will be working together with us. So they, the ministers or the reps will be there. Mm -hmm. um, the highlights, the highlight of that launching will be the signing of the MOU with government. Okay. We also, we'll also have our funders there, so mm -hmm. um, G, Jeff will be having its resident mm -hmm. um, rep there. And they'll also be having the UN. So okay. representatives from the UN will mm. also be there in person and also virtually. We'll be having OECS mm -hmm. represented there too. Okay. So it's all, and our deputy prime minister will be yes, taking the stage. Brilliant, sounds okay, very so good. It is. Very good, very good. Okay, and then as I was saying, so and then straight after, what is the work that, what would be the work, the first thing? I mean, I know things are happening all the time, but what do you want to see happen initially straight after that launch? Straight more than anything? after that launch, we're yeah. starting with training. Brilliant. That sounds okay. fantastic. We'll yeah. be training our tour guides, our mm -hmm. security guards, the yes. masseuse and so on. So the training will be starting. And while training is going on, mm -hmm. we'll also be doing some infrastructure. For example, um, upgrading the trails, putting railings, setting up the camping sites and these things. Mm. So there are things that are really turned down. Okay. Um, we'll also be looking at our farmers, having farmers meeting, letting them come on board, getting people to register. Mm -hmm. A big thing there will be the gastronomic aspect of it. Right. Okay. So we'll be working along with these people too and trying to get them on board mm -hmm. and training also. One of the biggest things there will be training. We mm -hmm. want to have a uh, 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 agro-tourism pack that is of international level. Right. Okay. We want no mediocrity there. Mm -hmm. So therefore, there, there will be lots of training in order to get people to the level that we want them to, so that the standards could be upheld. Brilliant. That sounds fantastic. Okay. okay. All right. Just to add to what Mrs. Prosper mm -hmm. said, um, a call has been sent out for persons who are interested in becoming tour guides, mm -hmm. um, security, and nurses to come and mm -hmm. apply with us mm -hmm. to receive that training. Okay. So I would like to appeal to the young persons who are listening, please take this opportunity and get on board with us. That was the next thing I was going to ask because I was going to say that it sounds really good and it sounds like there are people, there will be positions that need to be filled. So where can people get in touch? How can people get in touch with the, the committee and get aboard if they want to find out? Okay. You know. So um, we have the Fossey Jack Resource Centre where our secretary, Ms. Cadet, is um, registered so mm -hmm. persons who are desirous of 
being part of this great um, project, they mm -hmm. can come down to the Fort Jack Resource Center and they can give their names and contact mm -hmm. information or fill in the application form mm -hmm. or you can visit any one of the members of the committee. Okay, brilliant. All right. Well, time, as I said, time is running out, yes. sorry to say. <laughs> However, if there's anything you all would like to add at all, because I'm very much looking forward to this launch, okay. but is there anything else you would like to add just as we're leaving? Yeah, I would like to um, call upon the community. Mm -hmm. um, that this is something big coming into to your doorstep. Yeah. Um, prepare yourself, be in a position to take advantage of it. It's for the good of the community and the island in general. Mm -hmm. um, it's an opportunity to create and sustain livelihoods. That's the aim. Um, so um, it's something good, be part of it, and then it will be all well in the morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me today and, and all the best with the, the project. I would like to actually go along and think as well and yes. have you back to just to find out how things are going because this is, I think this is a fantastic project. Yes. So we'll thank, to we look forward to seeing you there. Brilliant. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us as well here at TV30. However, for now, it's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye.